My intuition is telling me there'll be better days. Guys, what is up? Welcome back to the Daily Dose. I would just like to start off by apologizing for the late vlog yesterday. Um, I did record it really late, started editing, and it was just rendering and I fell asleep so I didn't upload it. Yesterday it was more this morning, so you're going to get two vlogs today. You've had that first one and now you've got this one. But this vlog, just an update, I've got amazing news. I've found a uh, theme for the next song. I've thought of a video for the next song too, so hopefully it won't just be me standing in front of the camera or that little backdrop recording. It's going to be me in a location recording the video for the song. Um, the song is going to be called I Got Problems Too. And I'm really, really excited about it. Like all day, literally, I've just been focusing on that, what I'm going to do it, how I'm going to do it. I've got the first verse, the hook, and then I just need to do the second verse. So, hella excited about that. Um, t Bays, aka Mr. Tofik, oh yeah, Yemi. I'll link his stuff in the description box below. Check his new song out. He released a new song today. He's going to be helping me record the next music video um, for that. Hopefully, Marshall Exler, if you're still down for it, uh, he's going to help me with the... Um, uh, the last video I dropped, um, the last music video I dropped, so all the songs, sorry, and he's gonna help with the music video for that, which will be amazing. So, up in the content, up in the quality of the videos, um, and the music, which will be amazing. So, going strong into 2018, uh, which is gonna be fun. And in 2018, as I mentioned in yesterday's video, uh, I need to go hard this year. I, I, the, the progress this year was amazing, but I need to double, triple, quadruple that next year. So content is going to be consistent, music is going to be consistent and good in quality, and then we're going to go from there. And the last four years, five years, I've like tried to reach out to people and, and you know ask for help and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, I got to do this by myself in terms of like collaborating and stuff like that. Producers, I got to find myself, uh, and just. Anything that I want to do now, I need to do myself. People aren't willing to help. And this is a day and age where you don't really need people's help. You have the internet, you have YouTube. So you can reach out to people on there, which I'm going to be doing and focusing more on going into 2018. Figuring things out now. A uh, game plan for 2018. So 2018, from January all the way to December, every single month, every single day, every single hour, it's going to be scheduled and planned. Um, so productivity is going to be high next year. So I just thought I'd leave you with that. The way to succeed next year, I know you shouldn't really be the, oh, when it gets to January 1st, I'm going to be that guy or that girl. What you should do is start planning now. You have two weeks. Start planning how you're going to go into 2018 strong. For example, if your ambition or your goal is to go to the gym on the 1st of January, don't do that. Start now. Start now. Get into the routine. So January 1st, you're already in it. Okay? What usually happens is January is the busiest month for the gym and then slowly people start dropping off because they realize that they can't keep up with it you need to build habits so build that habit before january 1st i'm talking to myself here too um so the cut started today um just eating well eating consistently and moderation as well has been applied today so it was it was good i feel good i didn't have a cheat today but i had i had a couple cookies which is fine in the macros um, and that's the whole point of moderation. So if I had 10 cookies, that's no good. I had two, which is absolutely fine because at lunchtime, I didn't have anything sweet, anything of that nature. I had a cup of tea earlier with two cookies. Absolutely cool. People are under the illusion or assumption that you have to stop everything, cut everything out. That's the worst thing you can do. First, because it's not, you can't maintain that. If you're someone that eats chocolate every single day, there's no way you're going to just go cold turkey on chocolate. I tried it, it, was, it doesn't work. Even when I was in the prime of my life, when I looked good, had a good physique like a couple years ago, even then I was still eating chocolate, but my workouts were more consistent and intermittent fasting, which I applied was more consistent. I haven't been doing that this year, so I'm back on the intermittent fasting in 18 hours today. We'll be doing 18 hours for the foreseeable future to help cut this fat. That's enough for me talking. Um, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being patient. Thank you for sticking with me for so long. I think it's been like two years since I've had this channel now. Two and a half years. So it's been amazing. Um, it's been an amazing journey. So please carry on supporting. Please carry on subscribing and sharing my content. It's amazing all the support and love people are showing me. More music to come soon too. So hopefully this Sunday, if not this Sunday, next Sunday definitely, there will be a song called um, I Got Problems 2 coming out with a music video. And... That is pretty much me done for the day. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the vlog, give it a thumbs up. Hit the like button wherever it is. Share and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys tomorrow with another vlog. Peace and love.